Hi friends, welcome back to another video. I do hope you are well. In this video, we're going to be looking at the advanced settings and advanced routines that we can do with the Amazon Alexa. Many people don't know the capabilities that Alexa has and don't use them to their full potential. I'm filming this video at the beginning of June in 2020, so if you're watching this video in like a year's time, for example, then there definitely will be more features and settings that you can play around with. Okay then, so let's get started. Let's dive into the Amazon Alexa app. Okay, so we're now inside the Alexa app. So let's just head to the settings panel first and then we can move on to the routines and see what we can do in terms of that. Okay, so if we click on the three dots and then click on settings, we get the settings options. So most of these are self-explanatory and I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'm just going to go through the main important ones, which I feel that not many people have actually know about and don't actually use. So yeah, okay, I'm going to go onto your profile one first and you're going to see that you have your mobile phone number. That'll be blurred for me. And then for the voice, that is where uh, essentially you train the Alexa to recognize your voice. This is extremely useful in terms of if you have like a household situation. If you don't really know what like an Amazon Alexa household is, well it's not Amazon Alexa, it's a, an Amazon household. If you don't know what that is, essentially it is where let's say one person's paying for a Prime membership and then they can add someone else to their household. And that means that, uh, that means those two accounts have access to the Prime and all of Prime's features like Prime Video, ordering with Prime and like Prime Photos, you, you know what I mean, all of those uh, features and those two people get it from that like one per, uh, one person paying because they are in the same household. This only applies if like the two people live together, so like a husband and wife, but they might want to have separate accounts but only pay for like one Prime membership if you see what I mean. So that's useful. This is useful in terms of Alexa so, uh, because so let's say you have an Alexa in one room and an Alexa in the other room. The Alexa in um, the, both of these Alexas are registered to two different accounts. So let's say one Alexa is registered to the husband and one Alexa is registered to the wife. This means let's say the wife walks into the husband's um, registered Alexa and she speaks, then the Alexa will know that she is speaking speaking and give personalized responses based on her. So let's say she wants to send a message to, I don't know, like Julia, for example. I just made Julia up. I don't actually know who she is, but you get the idea. And then the Alexa will send it from her account because she knows that she is speaking. And the vice versa is like the husband goes and uh, speaks on the wife's uh, registered account and like that. So that you can set up voice through the profile section here. In the um communications tab here you can link a uh, alexa with like a provider so for example in my case like skype or like vodafone or ee i'm based in the uk so that's why i'm getting these um option however let's say you're based in the united states then you might be getting like united states based versions of these like mobile phone networks i don't know these off the top of my head and so that means you can link up the Alexa to these accounts so you can call people. So for example, like the um, the example given at the top is like call mum and it will call it through this provider, which is a cool thing you can do. Okay, cool. So that's for, that's all done for the communications tab. And that's um, everything for the settings. Uh, the rest is quite self-explanatory as in, in terms of what you can set, like uh, flash briefings and like traffic. But yeah, that, that's all done for the settings. So now let's head over to the routine. So the same thing applies. Click on the three um, lines and click on routines. Once you load up the routines, you'll have a menu of like similar sources and your routines and then the featured ones based on like your recommendations. So I have four routines um, that I used. Uh, one that's like Alexa. So when I say Alexa, good morning, it will like turn lights uh, on uh, slowly and uh, read my flash briefing and tell me if there's anything on my calendar. For the, like, when the alarm is dismissed, so that that's so I use this every day. So when I I normally set my alarm for around seven a.m. and when I set it, uh, so when I um, the alarm goes off and I say Alexa stop, Alexa will detect that I have dismissed the alarm. It will then um, uh, give me a good morning message and then it will tell me the weather uh, for that day, which is very useful. Um, I've got the bedroom lights on at sunset, so this one is, so it will detect my local sunset time, and when it hits that time, uh, the Alexa will turn on my smart lights here within the master bedroom of the house. 
And then the um, last one is an Alexa good night. So that's just when I um, head to bed. Uh, I say that and it like turns all the lights off and everything like that. So uh, the advanced section of Alexa, you could do way, way more advanced things than I, what I've just shown you here of what I use. And I'm going to show you that now. So if you click on the plus, you get the option to create a routine. So you get to get, um, enter the routine name and then you get to say the option for like when it triggers the routine so you have options for when this happens so you've got a voice so let's say a trigger phrase so let's say you were to say something to alexa let's say for example you want to say something like dinner's ready so you when you let's say alexa dinner's ready so oh i spelled that wrong so when alexa the text that you said alexa dinner's ready it will send uh, it will essentially run this routine and that's how this works you can also do it for like schedule, so at like a certain time it will run this routine, or like sunrise or sunset. I use a sunset warning like uh, when I turn my lights on, like, which I just showed you. And then there's this is where it gets more advanced, the smart home section. So let's say you have smart home devices. So let's say for the purpose of this example, you have um, a contact door sensor. So you know what I mean, as in it will like um, it detects when uh, like a door is open or closed. So let's say you this let's say you have this on like your front door. So you can essentially set up this routine. So when this um, uh, when the contact door sensor is like broken. Uh, when you're not in the house, it will then call this routine. So this is very useful in terms of like if it's like a, during a burglary, and I'll go on to explain later um, how we can like help prevent, well not prevent a burglary, help to like deter intruders from when they've inter entered the house. Um, alarms, so that's like when an alarm is dismissed, and the echo button, so you can buy these buttons from Amazon, so when you push them it will trigger a routine. So that's all good for when this happens. So in to the add action this is where it gets really really interesting so this is essentially like a very basic scratch version of programming as in you can tell the Alexa what to do in a certain order so let's get started so I'm gonna go back to that I'm gonna do that burglary example that I was just talking about a few seconds ago and then I'll go back on to talk about other things we can do with this so let's say as I was saying before so let's say when um, the motion door uh, contact sensor has been broken on the front door we want it to call this routine so let's say you have a communication linked up to the Alexa I, uh, you can get it so it could potentially uh, call the like police or call a family member um, and I, I don't believe you can set a custom message though, so it would only call it and then um, activate the microphone on that Amazon Alexa. So uh, let's say you were like calling a family member or like the police, then you could potentially um, hear the burglars entering the house. So that could potentially be a thing. Or you could get it to call yourself so you know that... Um, so then you could like speak to the burglars and try and deter them and then let's say you let's say we wanted to after calling a person you could go on to the alexa says section and we can set it so alexa will say a custom response so for example we could say uh, i don't know like a message to, say, uh, to the burglars saying like, i don't know uh, the police have been called uh, uh, we're watching and recording you and so on you get the idea um you can even say this even if you don't have cameras because it will still uh, help to deter them um make them run away uh, you get the idea um so yeah uh then you could do quite a few other things uh based on what you want to do but let's say uh going off the burglar example and going on to just something else um you can get it so let's say um Let's say you chose the, at a certain time it will run this routine. So you could potentially do something similar to what I did. So it like turn certain lights on in the house. Or let's say you had a motion sensor in the bathroom. So when um, it detects, uh, so when it detects that the motion sensor has been triggered, it will call this routine and it will set the bathroom lights to I don't know like ten percent. So it and that and let's say um, you only want this to run at a certain time at night. Let's um, I can't show you. I can kind of show you what it is. Also, let's say when I, I can't show you now because I don't have a smart device, but let's say you were to choose a motion sensor here, you get the option to set when it uh, like r when it's active. So let's say you only wanted the motion sensor to detect motion between I don't know 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. That means you could get it so when it detects this motion, it will set the lights in the bathroom to a certain percentage. But again, the lights have to be like smart controlled because uh, that's how you would get it to work. 
And so, yeah, that, that's the end of what you could do with routines. You can uh, play around with this because there's like a wide, wide range of features and uh, which you can uh, have a go with. And you can essentially the limit is your imagination uh, within reason, of course. And so, yeah, that's the end of this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do consider giving us a thumbs up. Do consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.